Hello everybody, my name is Cypher, and today we're going into a new Division 2 build video. Today we're going over a solo legendary build for District Union Arena um, on legendary strongholds, right? So, um, District Union Arena is typically the legendary stronghold that everyone farms, as it is the easiest um, to do solo, and in general it's um, a lot easier than the other strongholds. Roosevelt's kind of tough, Capitals are a little annoying at the very entrance, but it's a little, a little easier down the way, and no one ever does um, uh, the Mannington Zoo. So overall, we're going to be going into our build soon. It's a pretty simple and easy to farm build that you guys can get super quickly, um, and overall, it's a lot of fun to use and super easy. Let's get straight into it. So if we start off, let's go look at our specialization. I'm using the Gunner specialization. The Gunner specialization is super good um, to have in this case for the fact that you can get access to the Banshee Pulse, which uh, you could use, but um, I have different uh, strategies that I'll be using for this video um, that I'll go into detail with. But um, the main reason you are using this uh, is for the 10% armor on kill. Um, which is really useful considering that since enemies uh, absolutely melt you um, during a like a stronghold or like legendary mission, enemies are a lot harder to kill. They do a lot more damage. They're a lot more accurate with their shots. Right, getting that ten percent armor on kill is super important to have. Uh, going into our nade doesn't really matter. I'm using the riot foam nade because why not? It's good for heavy sometimes if you're throwing it from behind a wall. Um, but other than that, there's no real point for like the nades. But this is just kind of nice to have if you get into a sticky situation. Going on to our primary, I am using the FAMAS 2010 Assault Rifle. Um, as, as far as I'm concerned, this is technically the second best assault rifle in the game. The best being the St. Elmo's engine, as it keeps up with it in rate of fire almost. And not only that, um, it has a 70 round mag and shock ammunition, along with God's tier attachments. But... Since I don't have the assault rifle yet, I'm on like tier 60 of the rewards track. Um, I'm using the FAMAS as it is still very strong. And honestly, if I'm if I'm being realistic with you, I think the FAMAS is honestly better um, for legendary strongholds, and I'll explain in a bit, at least with my play style. Um, going into um, the FAMAS, I'm running damage targets out of cover on it, and I'm using the strained talent. Uh, you can either run Optimist. Optimist is also a really good option, but I'm using strained just because it fits my play style more. Um, overall, it's a really strong assault rifle, has a really high rate of fire, and as you can see, I'm running the Striker's gear set. So I'll be giving uh, even like, even more um, like RPM and DPS as far, uh, the further I go into the stronghold. Going into the attachments, this is where it to be really important. I usually don't cover attachments because like everyone just uses the same things, but I am using the, C uh, the CQBSS um, scope, which is the 8x scope. It gives me 30% headshot damage. You might be asking why I'm doing this. It's because there is a strategy that we use called shield peeking, and I'll go into that in a little bit more in detail when I show you some gameplay. I'll go through the first couple encounters, um, and the same goes for like a lot of the later encounters. Nothing, not like nothing much changes. But the reason reason you're using this is because you're using the Crusader shield, and with the Crusader shield, um, it will auto aim you in, so you're gonna have that 30% headshot damage bonus. But the main reason you're doing it is because if you use a regular scope. Uh, to, to aim down sights, you cannot peek with the shield. Uh, what I mean by that is that uh, there's a, not a glitch, but when you uh, are aiming down sights with an actual sight, like a, like a bigger zoom scope, um, your body will not be sh like, a, like shown like outside and you can shoot them, they can't shoot you, which is really nice, which is also really good in legendary. I'm running an all red build, right? I have very low armor. So, as the, like, the more chance I have to avoid damage, and especially dish it out, is really important. Um, and overall, it's super strong. I'm running a 5% crit hit chance uh, laser pointer, 5% crit hit chance muzzle break, and I'm running the 20 uh, round mag. Like, that gives me an extra 20 bullets. Uh, going next, I'm using the Bullet King Exotic LMG. Um, as I'm using Strikers, Bullet King is really strong for the fact that I just never have to reload and I can get an almost 1k RPM. It's really good with Strikers, and I want to have another weapon because like sometimes you run out of ammo and you want to have a high rate of fire, a decent um, damage gun, and the Bullet King is certainly that. You get some damage to targets out of cover, off base, and it comes with a 10% crit damage attribute. Um, and the whole idea with the Bullet King is that um, for this talent, um, you never have to reload, which is really, really, really good. Not only just for strikers, right? 
but it's also really good um, for like legendary. Because after all, reloading is super annoying sometimes. You gotta keep that DPS up, you gotta, especially with suppressive fire. And overall, never having to reload is super nice. Um, there are some other options. Uh, you could run um, some of the SMGs, right? It is an all red build, so you will be melting enemies super fast, especially with strikers. Um, some people will like, be wondering why I'm not running the named rock and roll shotgun. The, per the reason I'm not using the, the rock and roll shotgun is because I do not want to be getting close to my enemies. If I get close to an enemy, 9 times out of 10, I will lose that fight because I have such low armor and such low survivability. While it is certainly good for building stacks, and you can use this build for regular PvE, I do not want to be using this for um, legendary, as because I have to get close to my enemies, and do I really want to do that? That's not necessarily the best idea, the best solution here. And if I do, I will be dying a lot more than not. And it's honestly just not worth it. Going off into my sidearm, honestly doesn't really matter. I'm using the Orbit. Um, since I'm already using an exotic, if you have another LMG, like a, what's it called? I don't think I have it in here. But if you have the name Dare LMG, or like some, like or like the unnamed version, the GR9, or the GR8, I think is what it's called in the game. Uh, you can use that because it comes with a 200 round mag. And then you can run the busy little bee where you can get stacks off of just um, tagging your enemies. 20% weapon damage is really nice. You can melt enemies super easily. You can also run the TDI card custom, which gives you an extra skill tier. There's a lot of options you have here. And overall, it doesn't really necessarily matter. But I, I'm running the orbit just because I want that perfect finisher just in case I ever need to use it. Uh, I can. I can get 35% crit chance and 40% crit damage for 15 seconds. It's just really nice. Alright, going into the gear pieces, I am running the Exotic Coyotes Mask. Um, this mask is super easy to get. Um, the best way, as far as I'm concerned, to farm it is to do Heroic on um, Jefferson Trade Center. I believe that has a 10% chance to drop there um, from the final boss. Or you could do mass target loot as far as I'm concerned. But I remember the most consistent way to do it was Jefferson Trade uh, Center on Heroic. Um, overall, super easy to do. It's even better if you have mass targeted loot because then you have a better chance for it to drop. I don't know the exact odds, but I believe it is 10% on Heroic for Jefferson Trade Center. Um, it's a, it's a red, you get a red core with it. Uh, you get crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and I'm running an 11.3 crit hit damage mod. And the whole idea you're running this mask is for the talent. This talent is so strong, and especially for how we're going to be playing. Uh, you get the talent pack instincts. You and all allies gain bonus damage based on the distance you are away from the last enemy you hit. From 0 to 15 meters, you get 25% crit hit damage. More, more likely than not, we're not going to be in that um, scenario, so crit hit damage is not really the issue here. Especially with the fact that our base damage from strikers is going to make up for that drastically. Um, from 15 to 25 meters, you get 10% crit hit chance and 10% crit hit damage. Best of both worlds, kind of nice. Um, and then for a lot of our engagements, we're going to be at the 25 uh, meter plus range, where you get 25% crit hit chance. When I show you the stats for this build, it will not have 60% crit hit chance, but that's not going to matter, because we're probably going to be getting that crit hit chance from the mask anyways. It doesn't show up in the stats tab, because it's not currently being applied yet. Um, overall, the Kaiju's mask is really strong. I believe it drops in mass targeted loot once again, or from Jefferson Trade Center on Heroic. Going off to our chest piece, I am running the Striker's chest piece. So I'm running 4-piece Striker, so I can get um, the ta Talent Striker's Gamble, which will increase my damage per stacks, which is basically just you, you land some bullets, you get some damage back, it's really nice. For 2 pieces, you get 15% weapon handling, 3 pieces, you get 15% rate of fire, and for the 4 piece, you get the Talent Striker's Gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by uh, 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. One stack loss is lost per second between 0 to 50 stacks, and with uh, two stacks lost per second, um, it, uh, it, it's in the, within the range of 50 to 100 stacks. So you'll have a red core on here, I rolled crit chance, and then I have crit hit damage. Um, and with the talent for the chest piece, uh, you get press the advantage. Increases max striker stacks. Um, from a 100 to 200, so you're doubling the amount of stacks you have access to, and three stacks are lost per second between 100 to 200 stacks. So you can lose the stacks pretty quickly in between encounters, but it's super easy to build up back again, considering we have the FAMAS and the Bullet King. Going on to our holster, this is our second piece of strikers. Uh, I have 11.7% uh, crit hit, uh, sorry, weapon, hit, uh, weapon damage, and I have 4% crit hit chance as an attribute. A lot of my stuff isn't like fully maxed out because I don't necessarily care for it, but overall it doesn't really matter. 
All right, going off next to our backpack, this is our third piece of strikers. Uh, I have 50% weapon damage on there, 6% create a chance, and a 10.9% create a damage mod. We go on to our talent for the backpack. It increases the total weapon damage gained per stack of Strikers Gamble from 0.65% to 1%. That's a 35% weapon, in, uh, weapon increase in per stack, which is really nice. Because now if you have all 200 stacks and you have one um, with each stack being 1%, that's 200% weapon damage. Uh, like what's it called the chungas the heavies they're gonna break their armor immediately in, in like less than a mag it's on legendary i'm telling you guys strikers is the way to go for a lot of legendary um like because uh, the consistent dps is just too much that enemies can't handle going on to our gloves i am running the name petrov uh, contractors gloves these give me 10 percent lmg damage which is kind of nice considering i'm using the bullet king um, these come with 15% weapon damage. You can roll a uh, blue core on there if you want to. I recommend going all red. Um, I have 8% initial armor, which always comes every single time maxed out, which is why these are named gloves. These are best in slot for a lot of DPS builds, and I have 12% created chance rolled onto there. Overall, this mask is super easy to get. You can just farm targeted loot for Petrov or gloves. Um, and then not only that, um, just for all the strikers pieces before, you can just farm strikers targeted loot. It's summit or countdown. Same thing applies to this, and overall super easy to get. Going on to our fourth and final piece of strikers, these are the knee pads. I have 15% weapon damage on here and 6% crit hit chance. Overall, it's super easy to farm. Uh, overall, this build is super strong, but now let's get into the skills. Remember, this is a solo legendary build. Even if, it, even if you're playing legendary in a group, I will recommend these skills. Uh, for some reason, I did not have it on here. That's my fault. Here we go. We have the Crusader Shield. Um, this shield is not going to have a lot of HP. It's going to melt right away if you peek. But the reason you're using this is for the shield peek, which I will showcase later. You cannot use the Bullet King with uh, she with the shield um, because no LMGs are allowed with it. And I believe it's also no snipers. If I'm correct, I could be wrong on that. But I believe it is just LMGs uh, and marksman rifles. Yeah. Um, overall, you're mainly using this for shield peeking. I'll show you what that looks like when we're in game. And then after that, let's go into our second skill, the Reviver Hive. There is no reason you should not be running this, especially if you're playing solo. Not only that, but even if you're in a group, um, having a Reviver Hive is also super nice because that means you're uh, tier, 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 if you get too far out into uh, out of cover, you can re get revived and get back up so that way your teammates don't need to risk their, um, their lives to go back and get you. Super nice for solo content, makes the game a lot easier. Um, overall, this build is super strong. I just realized I have all my directives on from when I was farming. So let me go uh, turn that off. Uh, global settings, global directives. Let me go turn these off because these are going to make my life infinitely harder. I would not want to uh, have that be the case. Um, I'll go showcase the stats after the global settings uh, reset. And overall... This is a pretty fun build. I like using it a lot. I use it for a lot of just regular PvE content too. Not even just, uh, not even just strongholds. All right, let's go into the stats for this build. So, uh, if we're going off of the Famas, you have forty-eight point three percent created chance. If you're within fifteen to twenty-five meters, it'll be fifty-eight, which is almost max, and it'll be max with twenty-five meters, which is where we're typically playing. We have that one hundred one percent created damage. Uh, which will we can go up to 151 percent with strain uh, being fully procced, and then not only that, I have the 85 percent headshot damage and the 8 percent armor damage. Um, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go over to the Bullet King. 43.3 percent. Uh, it can go all the way to max with the max coyote roll. Um, 111 percent create damage and uh, 65 percent headshot damage, and that is 8 percent armor damage. Overall, once again, super strong build. Let's head over straight to Legendary um, District Union Arena. Let's go fast travel right over there. And I'm going to show you how strong this build really is. I'm just going to go over the first uh, the first few encounters. So you kind of get the general play style of how you're supposed to play this build. And overall, once again, this build is super strong, super easy to get stacks, even without the ACS-12. That's what the Bullet King is there for, because that way you can maintain your distance. Um, and overall have a huge advantage on your opponents. 
One thing I forgot to mention, actually, is another reason we're running the gunner specialization is because you run out of ammo quite a lot. You get you getting 10% of your ammo back is super nice, especially for the fact that's the reason why I'm running the Bullet King and not double AR. Because if I run out of my FAMAS ammo pretty quickly on the first encounter, so it's really nice to have some ammo come back to the magazine. All right, let's go get straight into this. Let's go run over. All right, got 1100 in the mag there, right? Mission options, let's go put this on legendary and make sure it's on replay. You've got your objective. All right. Don't let anything stand in your way. So typically where you're gonna wanna play for this first encounter is right around here. You're gonna wanna sit behind this trash can. Oh, we have some NPCs behind us. That's a little annoying. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop our shield out, right? And the second I right click, I'm on PC by the way. The second you go to aim in, look. I'm behind the shield, but when I ADS, I can see them now. I'm still behind the trash can here. That's what shield peeking is. That's why this is so strong. Let's go light a mag into this guy. Oh, that guy's getting a little close. Remember, you're very you you have very low armor, very low survivability. So the whole idea is that you want to play behind cover with shield peeking. Look at that. We're already hitting 500 K per crit. Don't even have half our stacks. You melt these mini tanks. Especially with the health damage from uh, the AR bonus. Look at that. That elite mini tank is instantly down. To quickly breeze through these guys. We're getting close to our max striker stacks. I'm gonna peek a little here. Just want to see if these guys can head over. All right, that's the second wave of enemies. There are three waves total. The first base wave. We have the second wave where they come down in the helicopter, and we have the third final wave. All right, we have the. Rushers here coming in. They go down real easy. They have no health. Alright, you want to make sure you're careful for these exploding drones. They're really annoying to go up against, especially later on when you're getting swarmed by them. Right, this guy is in the bus. Some drones up. Look at that guy. Instantly melted. We're all sitting from the comfort of behind our shield. Forgive me for missing some shots there. A little rusty. I've been uh, trying to record this video like seven, eight times now because my saves have been uh, not necessarily saving. So I'm going to try to go with the stream, go with old reliable. Um, it will be like a little bit more delayed on my stream, but I like as far as I'm recording this right now. I have, uh, it's, uh, 4th of July, so to all my fellow Americans out there, uh, happy 4th of July, guys. Enjoy the day with the cookouts. Um, this video might be up on, like, the 5th of July or something like that. Maybe the 6th. I'm not sure. Um, but, it, uh, if, if this video does come out on the 4th of July, happy 4th of July, guys. Uh, gonna be hanging out with the family today. Um, gonna be recording some videos, uh, later on. Uh, for you guys, and overall, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of content going on right now. So as you can see, I'm running out of ammo by the assault rifle. Only got two mags left. Um, but as you can see, we are melting the chungas. 700k crits. Oh, missed my bullets there. So we can no longer shield peek, but the chungas already has armor broken, and he's going to be down. Just gonna quickly peek back and forth to make sure that these snipers don't get me. This is the final wave, by the way. Alright, boom. First wave done. Real easy. No real threats immediately. And overall, it was a pretty safe, clean, and easy experience. As you can see, um, you want to play super far back with this build. You're gonna have, like, max crit chance anyways. Ooh, tempo... Uh, actually, it's not that crazy good. 10.8. I, I could farm for better. 
But as you can see, super easy to play. So you just gotta play far back. Uh, generally a super easy experience. Uh, it's not a lot of skill required for this, but this is the best way for solo players, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and best builds for legendary. All right, let's go shield peek again. I lost a couple striker stacks, so I'm not gonna be dealing as much damage as I normally would. But we're still hitting for 500k, which is not bad. Oh, we're running out of some bullets there. But another thing I should mention, that Strikers is really good for melting those healing stations, which are super annoying. You want to get rid of those healers first, before they place those stations. I obviously did not do that, and now these guys are going to be getting healed like crazy. But I can still out-DPS out -DPS those heals, um, those massive heals. Super relatively quickly. Alright, got our last guy a little far back, a little scared, a little cowardly. He's, fine. He's hiding back there. Alright, he's coming back up. Slowly but surely, I guess. Let's check our loot. It's a shield mod, who cares? Alright, now we gotta get back. So, this is the tougher wave, considering that now we're gonna be getting some chungas, some other healers, and more adds. Let's get far back. Let's go. Clear out these ads first. A couple of tenants. Three chungas. And there is a little trick I'll show you guys, or one that I personally use, to where you can shoot through. I'll save one of the heavies just to show you guys, but look, I'm melting them super quickly. Alright, let's go bring the heavy over here, because I want to show you guys. As far as I'm concerned, Ubisoft did not patch this. Um. All right, let's go. Let's go bring the chunga over here. So you do not need to do the shield for this, but oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I'll, I'll use the bullet king. So if you uh, if you take the headshot uh, scope off, you can shoot through this tarp here. Oh, there we go. And as you can see, he is not shooting back. So if you want, you can bait the chungas over here. Super easy to go farm your striker uh, stacks, which is really nice. And then not only that, I still have my ammo box here, so I can get my ammo back really quick. Super nice. All right, let's see. We got some uh, max rolls. Create a chance on the on the sniper. Hell no, I'm not taking that. Oh, I'll, I'll go a little bit further in just to show you guys. But overall, it is a super easy build to farm. Super effective. And as you can see, we're making good time going into this, especially for a solo player, with little to no expertise, by the way. Alright, so we're already maxed on our ammo. Let's go over here. Alright. Let's get rid of that sniper. Get rid of the get in the minigun. Oh, we got some rushers. Oh, he got me. Right, let's go get rid of him. Alright, that's two snipers. You can also shoot through this tarp here, by the way. Just wanted to let you know that. As you can see, I'm still hitting him. He's dead. Oh, he went into cover. Still suppressed. Get rid of this other sniper. And right, you can make little sight holes too, which is really cool. But that's another easy way you can uh, use that to your advantage. Alright, so this encounter is a little bit tough here. This part of the encounter, the second half. So there's a certain vantage point that you can go to here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trigger the encounter. Uh, you notice when the door spawn. Alright. So now you're going to want to run all the way back real quick. Try to dodge those bullets. I am not doing a very good job. We can play it up real quick. Because these exploding drones are the bane of my existence. Alright. So, we're just gonna go... Let these guys come over here. Oh wow, didn't kill them. I did lose a quite a few striker stacks. Right, shoot his backpack. Let's go reload real quick. Is that a drone? Yeah, it's more of the exploding drones. 
Those drones, I hate them so much. Alright. Assuming this guy's gonna spawn some more. Shoot his backpack. Alright. There's still another guy. Oh, here he is. There you go. Alright, who's left? That's this guy. Alright. So that one, that little wave is a little complicated, but if, if you can get back real soon, super easy. All right, nothing good. All right, let's keep going forward. All right, we still got some good stuff going on here. All right, this is the next encounter with the dogs. So super easy. You want to take the uh, purple dog out first because he fires some grenades. All right, oh, oh. I'm stuck. You want to get rid of this dog first? Crack his side plate. Let's get him down. Shock me through the wall a little. It's fine. I'm behind cover. I got a little stuck in the door there. Took a little bit more damage than I saw. Okay, here we go. Shoot his gun. Let's disable it. All right, there we go. He's lost some armor plating, He's flesh now. Feel that good old health damage. 800k crits. Very powerful. All right, so that's that room clear. I'm gonna just do the first like couple encounters once again. So. Oh, I forgot. Okay. So this one's not that hard, actually. Let me go get to the good positioning, though, because positioning is everything with this one. I want to get rid of the mini tanks first. Oh, I forgot. There's drones here, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Let's go back away. Let's go get some holster regeneration for our shield so we can get our shield back faster. I think someone might be coming. All right. Look, you see, I put my shield back on, and I get so, and my uh, character shifts in motion. How am I not hitting that guy's head? Oh no, yeah, that's not good. Oh no, no, no. Okay. One. Good. Quickly tap him because if I spray, I get really weird hit reg. Or the drones. This is probably the angle you're going to want to play at with this shield. I'm going to wait till I get my shield back a couple seconds. As I am pretty vulnerable without it, as you can see. Let me go play it up real quick. You can shame me for losing my shield here. I made a bad play. Didn't peek from the right angle. I'm all playing angles with this crap. Let's go get rid of this dog. Gotta get rid of those drones. Oh no 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 no. There's one out here. Dog is disabled. Should disable the other one. This guy's running up in here. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Alright, second dog down, and we just have the elite over there left. Let me go reload. I forgot there's a second wave here. Never mind. Oh, it's a mini tank. Okay. Fired a little dart at me. That's melting that mini tank. Shield a little low. Let's go holster it for a bit. Get some health back. It's all about taking your time. You don't gotta be in a rush for these things. Alright, got some health on the shield. Let's go peek. He's dead. Oh, I got blinded. Alright, let me go holster the shield again. Just real quick. 
Look at that. Re uh, regen's pretty fast. Doesn't have as much HP because you're just using it for that shield peak. Oh my. I am getting bombarded. Oh, I barely hit it there. Let's go get rid of the other ads. Tanks are easy on their own. We're getting there. Don't repair that, buddy. Some of my bullets aren't hitting. There we go. Alright, let's go push up a little. These are the last two guys. We can leave the micro tank alone because it should destroy itself now that it's alone, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just took a while. All right, let's go refill on some ammo real quick before the next encounter. Nice repair skill is pretty low for a legendary drop. I would hope for almost maxed rolls, but you know, can't get everything you want. All right, so for this encounter, uh, you're gonna go over here, hot wire this uh, switch, and then enemies are gonna start flowing out of here. Never mind, I didn't even have to hotwire it. It just came out already. I forgot there's a chunga here too. Vital signs critical. Alright. I did not expect I forgot there was a chunga here. Alright. I can peek them without them seeing me. Let's take advantage of that. Just drop them like flies. Last one is the chunga. Slowly start shifting it. His arm's broken already. Shoot in the flesh, and he's down. All right, it was a little rough there at the start, but we were able. We managed to pull it off. I forgot. Uh, like uh, I, I thought you had to press this in order to uh, get it to go off. There is a crate back here where I'm looking, but you don't have. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be going uh, here. This is one of the toughest encounters of the entire uh, stronghold. This one you really have to play back. Especially with the medics. Chunga's here too. Look at that, my shield gets melted right away. You gotta let these guys flood in here, especially the Chungas. It's gonna be a very rough uh, encounter. Oh, I lost my shield already. Wow. What, you see what I mean? Alright, let's see. Advantage of the shoulder piece. You're down. He's blind firing me and still getting me. Oh no, I am running out of ammo. Or not ammo, uh, armor. Is this a chunga coming? Enemies don't flood in. These two are enough. One of you's got a peek. Alright, let's play a little bit further back. He's playing the door. There we go, he's down. Yeah, so you just gotta let them flood in. It's a little slow, I know, but that's just how you have to play Legendary. You stagger up with the headshots, nice. Those heals are gonna be a little annoying. Alright, oh, someone's close. Oh, it is an elite, let us back up, okay. Got the rusher. That guy's shocked from his own teammate's nade. Wee. Alright. 
This guy peed. Oh, my shield's broken. Right. Let's get behind a wall. These are Dare. Turn out a Dare are a uh, Bolt King. Oh, I guess he walked back. Okay. 10.9% created damage. Yeah, we can do better than that. Oh, they're getting close again. They're getting close. Oh, here's the Chunga. All right. Easily the second most annoying encounter here. Mainly the medics, though. Mainly the medics and the healers. Okay, got the kill confirm on him. All right, he's backing out. Cool. We're getting some armor kits here, which is nice. Didn't have to use many. Okay, another guy goes. You're dead. As you can see, I am easily melting him. Okay, let's go through here. You can't shoot us back. You see, I'm behind the door, but my crosshair is peeking it. All right, let's go inside. This should be the last guy. Okay, we staggered him. There we go. Okay, so I found an angle I can use. Some glasses in the way, but it's all right. Just gotta wait. Play the waiting game. He's got a peek. He peeks. He, he gets shot. Where right, I saw peeking, you see I'm behind cover here. God, this guy loves his height. Oh no, where was my shoot there? What the hell? Okay. Don't want to waste my, uh, my re reviver hive. This guy is so scared to peek. Alright, so it auto swapped me to my FAMAS, as you see. This guy would stop hiding. I wouldn't be losing all my striker stacks. There we go. Thank you. So annoying. All right, got all our armor kits back. We're gonna go refill on some ammo here. Oh, forgot about this. Okay, so this is a this is like probably one of the easier encounters. We all just line up and funnel through here. Gonna hide behind this door here. You see that? I'm behind the door and I get line of sight. If I remember correctly, there are some chungas that do spawn here, so be ready for that. Let's get rid of that drone. Can I place a healing station? Try not to let the chungas get too close. Him real quick. Did I really just crack him there? Oh, then this guy decided to peek. Okay, got him. There we go. That encounter is done. All right. As you can see, once again, super easy, super simple. Just spray and pray. You got to wait far back. You notice I, I, how little I'm getting shot there, right? It's super easy and simple. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Get rid of that guy. Let's get rid of that guy. I'm going to pick him off one by one. I'm obviously not at a very crazy good angle here, but I could still make it work. Stagger him enough. Not looking too good. Let's back up a little. I know you gotta give up some ground, but it is worth it. It means your survivability. After all, the Reviver Hive goes on a 180 second cooldown, so you do not want, you want to use it sparingly. You could wait the whole 180 seconds between encounters, but where's the fun in that? Gonna be here for days at that point. 
Waiting three minute cooldowns couldn't be me. Oh, this guy is real scared to peek. Blind farm, you know. Grenadier. Alright. This guy got a peek? Wine firing again. Oh no! Alright, as you can see, my shield just got cracked there, and I lost all my armor. Once again, you are very fragile if you want to play far back. Got a little antsy because these guys weren't peeking. Boom, there we go. That guy's down. So is that guy, and so is this guy in a little second. There we go. I know I said I was only going to be doing a first few, but I'm having a little bit of fun with this, so I'm going to keep it going until the run ends. Alright, I believe this should be the beginning for the first boss of the regular stronghold, but... Could be I, I I forgot what his name was. It was Domino Dime. I, I forgot what his name was. All right, this should be the parking garage. Oh no, this is not. Okay, this is something else. Right, we're gonna gear down. Let's go get the utility. Forgot the dogs here were really annoying. Get a peek, buddy. Trying to make a video here. Alright. Since you want to be like that. Now you move. And I run out of ammo that time. Okay, wow. Okay. Let's go melt this mini tank. We got one mag with like not even half stacks. You almost get them. There we go. This one's got a little a decent bit more health, but we can melt it real quick. Nope, it's gone, buddy. Guy close left. He might be on the second floor. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Yeah, it's probably second floor. Alright. Engineer down. Grenadier further back. He's dead. Another one down. Rusher down. Second rusher down. Missed some shots. We got a chunga. Two chungas. Alright, about to crack his armor soon. Oh, got you guys here. So the good thing about the Chungas, they don't sit in cover, so they're free, easy kills. Sitting out like a bunch of losers. There we go. You're dead. Up oh, here's the dog. Is there a guy above too? Oh no, the dog! These warhounds are real pieces of work. All right, you're down. We got our last few guys here. One above. Oh, another dog. Another dog. This is the nade. The demo dog. Right, you're down. And the last guy is up here. I hope it's not a dog. Oh no, it's a it's a person. All right, and it's a red grunt. All right, boom. Real easy. Look at that. Right, let's uh, see what uh, loot we got up here. Probably nothing good. Haven't been getting any good legendary drops recently. Providence. Max crit chance. Oh, braced. Not planning to run some skill damage either. That was almost nice. Could have been a nice budget sacrifice, even though I already have a bunch of them. But as you can see, like, uh, um, to everyone who's watching right now, 
build is super easy to use. I'm, I'm literally just sitting behind cover and I'm just saying I okay, couldn't walk there for a sec. Where is this? What encounter is this? Oh, hey, this is the warehouse. All right. Lost a couple stacks. Took a little longer. This encounter is a little bit annoying with all the cover they get, but I might get shocked. Oh. Yep. Let's go melt him quickly before he pushes. Stagger him with the headshots. Get that 30% weapon damage bonus. Oh, where am I? Where am I getting shot from? Oh, I didn't see this guy. All right, he's suppressed. Got his buddy walking around like an idiot. Barely hit him. Yeah, it's a rough angle to peek. Shot it. Oh, there's me. All right. Well, one more guy in here. I think there is a second wave. No, no, no second wave. Max rolls. Skill haste. It's a decent Alp uh, hybrid, if you want to use that, I guess. I personally won't. And to people in the comments saying, oh, you missed some crates or whatever, I'm not here for crates. I'm just going to go quickly through this. If you are still uh, watching the video at this point, thank you so much. Leave a like and please subscribe. We're on our way to 500 subscribers. Um, we're almost there. We're at like 4.30 at the time I'm recording this. Almost 4.30. Um, I've been making a lot of progress. I've been getting, I'm getting a lot of traction with the community, which is real nice. All right, this is the garage section. This one, this one, I know for a fact is annoying. You sticking far back here. You walk in that garage, it is a death sense. All right, yeah, he's this one of the drone guys. Those drones are the bane of my existence. Let's go reload real quick. Oh, oh no. Alright. Let's shoot those legs. Get some headshots in. Shoot those legs. Oh, the nade hit me. Okay, thank you. They cannot shoot through that glass. That went real bad for me. Where's this guy? Oh no, they can shoot through the glass. I don't think they could. More you know. I know the guy with the drones is still here, so I gotta get rid of this warhound real quick. This is one of them. You're down. Oh no 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 no! Um, characters glitching through the door. Warhound down. You're not throwing that nade at me. Another rusher. Oh, he got the healing station down. It's fine. I would have died if I peeked. Right, there's a guy behind those barrels, and there's a guy behind the tr the car over here. All right. It's a little weird peeking this. The game is kind of pushing me away. It's probably because I'm trying to go through the door and not with the shield out. A little. It is a little un unconventional, to be fair. I get a named item. Got him in the riot foam there. It's a little nice getting rid of that guy. Oh, I do get a named item. Hopefully the legendary rolls, the RNG gods, give me some nice loot. Some nice rolls. If it's a sacrifice, that'd be really nice, actually. I've been looking to do some skill build sacrifice videos. Oh, no, 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 hey. Oh, I whiffed. Now the guy's still alive. Let's go, let's go use another nade. Oh, no, oh, lord. No, no, no. I, that was, so, that was so close. I just got bombarded like I was fighting a D-Day or something. That was crazy. Please do not fire more nades. There's someone close to me, apparently. Real close. Oh, the screen shade got me. Oh, the screen shade's missing up my shots. Let's go while he's climbing. Is it 
you? Did you use firing aids at me? Messing up my shots, man. Come on, pick me again. I'm losing stacks because these guys don't want to peek. It's so lame. You. Man, what is with up with everyone in this car, dude? Get out of here. Get out of there. Oh, weirdo. So you got out just to go back to the car? Can't make this shit up, dude. Alright, there we go. That guy's gone. Should just be this one last guy. Oh, it's a Hasbro. It's a Hasbro. Just lose. Oh, he was hitting me through there? Wow. Come on. Get this over with. There we go. Cherish? Let's see the rolls. Weapon handling. Uh, it's not. It's not crazy good. We got Providence. Great uh, well, and well, it's got efficient. Oh well. No pro. No budget Providence for me today. All right. Oh wait, I think I'm. I think this is the second to last encounter actually. Uh, give me an armor kit. Thank you. Alright, so there's dogs and then there's chungas. This one's really bad. So... Yeah, gotta get rid of those demo dogs first. Can I bring them? Oh, I cannot bring them out of here. I don't think my shield's up. Oh yeah, it is not. It is not. Shield is not up. Don't do this to me, don't do this to me. Don't be weird, don't be weird. I think I cracked his armor. There we go, now I did. That dog is gone. Got stuck in the door. Gotta play far back, just gotta shield peek. Get as far back as possible, getting that crit damage in though with the coyote's mask, which is nice. Alright, disabled my shield. That dog is shut down, though. Can't hit it. System reactivated. Dog is down. Alright, so this should be the, the part where the chungas come in. Or just adds. Or is it adds then Chunga? Or is it both? Oh no, no, no. Alright. Alright, now we got the Chunga. Oh no. That's scary. Oh my, he is hopping over. And I got blue on me, and there's a guy there. Cool. And the stinger hive. Probably get the blind fire for a bit, not gonna lie, that's scary. Right, got the first one. Oh no. Alright, so I said I died, I still have the reviver hive. I shot a canister. Next to me. Oh, and I lag. Play up, play up, play up, play up, play up. Gotta save the run. Peek me, you coward. Peek me, you coward. Peek me, you coward. Crack him, crack him, crack it. And... Wow, nothing yet. Yes. Oof, that was a close one. I'm so low on armor plates, dude. Resilience. Ugh, couldn't have been pulse resistance? Okay. Max has probably already have them in my library. Oh my god, that was close. 
Alright, so here's the beauty of this, right? So, as I go... Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. So as I go here, this you get a checkpoint. So if you die at any point during the stronghold, um, you, it will reset you back to the very start. But once you reach this room here, this is the final boss, you're good here. Alright, with the power of editing. Um, so for those of you, uh, you can see the rough time I was having on stream. Final mission, the final part of this uh, stronghold. It's a, it's a little difficult, it's a little difficult. Um, but I basically, I, I know I said I was going to only do a couple portions of this, but I kind of just basically got you to the final room. Super easy, sit back here, um, get your shield out, shoot him through the grates, let him walk up to you, get it done super easy. So there are three, to there are three total waves, and on the fourth, so, uh, halfway through the third wave, the boss will spawn, and you want to get the hell out of here, because he will instantly walk up to you. Instantly. So... It's not a lot of fun, but that's generally just how this is. I've shown you how strong this build is, and overall, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, make sure you have some fun with this. Uh, it's super easy to farm once again. You get some good loot. Uh, farming Legendary is super easy. I'll have another build coming out in the next couple of days, going over some Roosevelt uh, builds. And other than that, it's been a lot of fun, and I want to thank you so much for watching the video. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Later.